Damn. Hey guys, today I want to show you how to make such a basket weave bracelet watch. And all the stuff you need and some additional information you will find in the info box. So what do we need for this? We need a watch for this. We need white and red rubber bands. You can choose the color ever you like. And you need one clip to fix the bracelet at the end. And of course we need a hook for looming the rubber bands. And we start to make a Y. So we take the rubber bands in double. Place it as low as possible, makes it easier to work with. So, second one from the middle to the right. And the third one from the middle to the left. Cap it and pull over. And the next is we will make a V on top of the Y. First from the middle to the right and then from the middle to the left. Now to the next rubber band. Take it twice too. Hello cat! Um, and place it from the second to the third pack. Then take the next white one and place it from here to the fifth on the right and from the middle to the fifth on the left. Okay. And now we can start with the red one. And as you can see, we have here the white ones and complete the pattern we start from the third to the middle and the same on the left from the third left to the fifth in the middle now we take the last cap band from the third to the fourth pack and now we continue with the pattern as before. So we start from the middle, fourth to the sixth on the right, and then all the way up until the end of the loom. Now we reach the last row. And this is the end of the first part of the bracelet or the basket weave bracelet. And now it should look like this. And what you do now is flip your loom so that the air was facing you. And now we will attach the first side of the watch to the bracelet. I choose white for the middle and red for the right and left one so that it will fit perfectly to the pattern. So I would take the red one here on the right. The white one in the middle.
and the red one on the left. So now take these two ends just pull over now take the white in the middle pull over in the middle too and the red one on the right pull it over here so now you can see the watch is attached to the bracelet and now we start to loom so now take the upper red one and pull it to its origin. And this is the same pattern we do until the end or until we reach the beginning of the loom. And we start here on, we start on the left. Take the white one, pull it over here, take the white one here, and pull it over the peg where it has its origin. So now the clock or the watch is attached, and now we're continuing to loom the whole rubber bands to the beginning. Start here with the upper red one, or with the first red, with the first red rubber band. Then from here, these whites are alone. So now we're almost done with the first half of our bracelet and what we do now is the last ones, so this goes over here, this goes over here, this to the middle two, then we have those three left. And now there's only one left, it's this one, right? Now we need to take this and pull it through all of the others. And here's one tip for you, in case that this rubber band will break, you can take one extra rubber band, cap it and place it here on the left and then just stitch with your hook in and pull it through yeah? in case that this one will will break and so now we're done with the first half I think so let's have a look at right 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 perfect so now we can take the clip Place it in here. So that it will not get lost. And stitch it with your hook and just take off the first half of the bracelet from your loom. And the second half of the bracelet is the same pattern as we did before. So we 
start again with flipping the, the loom with the arrows facing away from you. And start the same pattern again. Then again flip the loom and attach to the second half to your watch. And then we will meet again. So now we've finished the second half of our bracelet. And now we just only have to fix the bracelet. Now we're done with our basket weave watch bracelet. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if so, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. See you next time on Dr. Loom.